I always travel second class. <laughs> that is curious. How very bizarre. And what a coincidence. I too, sir, I traveled second class. How curious it is, and what a coincidence. Perhaps it was on the second class that we first met, dear lady. Well, it is certainly possible, and not at all unlikely. But I do not remember very well, my dear sir. I was seated in coach number eight, compartment six, dear lady. That is curious. How very bizarre, and what a coincidence. I, too, sir, I was seated in coach number eight, compartment six, my dear sir. How curious it is, and what a coincidence. Perhaps we met at compartment six, dear lady. How curious it is, and what a coincidence. Indeed, impossible, but I do not believe I could. Tell the truth, I do not remember it either, but it is possible that we met each other on that occasion. And it seems to me even very likely. Oh, truly, of course. Truly, sir. I was seated in seat number three. By the window, dear lady. Oh, good Lord, how curious and bizarre. And what a coincidence. I was seated in seat number six, next to the window, across from you, my dear sir. How curious it is, how bizarre, and what a coincidence. We were then seated across from each other, dear lady. It must have been there that we first met. It is indeed possible. But I am not all sure of it, sir. To tell the truth, I do not remember it either, but it is possible that we met each other on that occasion. It is true, but I am not at all sure of it, sir. Were you not the lady who had me put her suitcase on the luggage rack, thanked me, and gave me permission to smoke? But, of course, that must have been I, sir. How curious it is! How curious it is! And what a coincidence! Well then, well then, it must have been on that occasion that we first met, dear lady. Oh, it is indeed possible, and not at all unlikely. However, I do not believe that I recall it. Nor do I, madam. <laughs> Since coming to London, I have resided on Bromfield Street, dear lady. How curious that is. How very bizarre. I too, sir, since coming to London, I have resided in Bromfield Street, <laughs> my dear sir. Good Lord, how curious. <laughs> I have resided at number 19, dear lady. That is curious. I, too, reside at number 19, my dear sir. Good Lord, how curious. And what a coincidence. Perhaps it was in that house that we first met, dear lady. How curious it is. And what a coincidence. It is indeed possible. However, I do not believe that I recall it. My flat is on the fifth floor, number eight, dear lady. Oh, that is curious. <laughs> How very bizarre. And what a coincidence. My flat, too, is on the fifth floor in flat. Number eight, my dear sir. How curious it is. <laughs> How curious it is. How curious it is. <laughs>
in my bedroom, there is a bed covered with a green eiderdown. That bed with the green eiderdown is at the end of the corridor between the WC and the bookcase. <laughs> Dear lady, what a coincidence! Good Lord, what a coincidence! My bedroom, too, has a bed with a green eider down and is at the end of the corridor between the WC and the bookcase. How bizarre, curious, strange. Madam, we then live in the same flat. And share the same bed, dear lady. <laughs> Perhaps it was there that we first met. <laughs> How curious it is. And what a coincidence. It is indeed possible that we have met there, and perhaps even last night. But I don't recall it, <laughs> sir. I have a little girl. My little daughter, she lives with me. She is two years old. She has blonde hair. She has a white eye and a red eye. She is quite pretty. Her name is Alice, dear lady. What a coincidence. I too, sir, have a little girl. She is two years old. She has one white eye and one red eye. She is very pretty. And her name is Alice, too, dear sir. What a coincidence. Perhaps they are the same, dear lady. How curious it is. It is indeed possible, my dear sir. Madam, I believe there can be no doubt. We have seen each other before. You are my wife. <laughs> Elizabeth, I found you again. <laughs> Elizabeth are now too happy to be able to hear me.